Hello and welcome to my Saturday vlog. Today I'm going to do a review of Little Inferno and I'm going to talk about Marx Brothers movies. As you can see, I am on a server called Desired Craft. Well, you can't see that it's called that, but it is, that is what it's called. There's a lot of people here. I didn't actually know what uh, to use as my Minecraft map today, so I thought I'd check out this server. Let's get into first person. I've turned off uh, my chat and uh, things like that because I didn't want to have people's chat in my video, mostly for their sake. The hell is that person doing? That looks kind of dirty. Maybe it's just my imagination. But uh, I think I'm going into the creative server. What the hell is this person doing? Ew. But yeah, going into the creative server, checking out some of the creative things in here. I have been in here just briefly, uh, mostly to check out the server, if it was really anything I wanted to show off. And uh, But I haven't checked this out, so... Ooh, looking good so far. This is all creative, remember that? Um, someone really likes his own head. A little bit too much. Uh. Anyway, let's start by reviewing Little Inferno. Little Inferno is a tiny little weird game. You own a fireplace. Well, you bought a fireplace, and that you where you can burn stuff, and you get some mail order catalogs, from which you buy stuff that you can burn. Whenever you burn something, you gain money, and also some other stuff. And that's pretty much the entire game. You have to, in order to get a... You can then burn certain objects together and you get different combinations which gives you different uh, items and you have to pretty much go through all of the mail catalogs to win the game. And to get the mail catalogs you need a certain amount of combination. Holy motherfucker, is that a dragon or something. That looks pretty cool. Uh, a lot of cool stuff here. But yeah, um, Little Inferno is a, it's a kind of short game. There is a story to go along with the game. Uh, kind of sad and tragic, but at the same time cute and funny story, which I will not reveal anything of. But if you follow the story mode, oh god, stop saying noises, computer. But if you follow the story mode, the game is pretty much quickly over. I'll say maybe three hours. You could probably do it faster uh, if you just rush through it and have played it before. Um, but other than that, if you, it's a little, be a bit longer if you want to try all the com different combinations of things you can burn together. I would recommend it. It's it's the graphics looks really nice and uh, there's a lot of whenever you burn an item th there's a different animation for the different items you burn and I'd say it is a very funny game. And that is why actually I've chosen Marx Brothers because Marx Brothers are funny. Uh, I really really love Marx Brothers. Also Marx Brothers is one of those kind of wi movies that you would watch on like a cold winter day and uh, on your, lying on your sofa with a blanket on over you and if you have a fireplace you would have it lit. That's kind of far-fetched I know but I don't need to explain myself. I just like to do it. Anyway so, but before we get to the Marx Brothers, let's uh, have a look around a little bit. So, apparently a lot of people like to just make themselves in Minecraft. That guy, I just saw that guy actually, when I came into the game. He was standing, I, I summoned, I spawned inside of him. That was kind of disturbing, but yeah, that he wasn't that big, by the way. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, a lot of this isn't that creative, to be honest. Someone has, someone has just made a jungle. That's uh, very creative of him. But yeah, this is a um, public server, so I guess there is a lot of different people. So the 
creativity will of course change from person to person. That looks awesome that over there. Let's go check that out. This looks pretty awesome as well. Can I actually go into people's plots? It can. This looks pretty awesome. Is that <laughs> is that all uh, yeah. I guess people really, really love the um, Oh lava. The oh this was not the same. I thought this was the same as this one. I really I guess people really love these I forgot what they're called. Hmm. This looks pretty... I actually like this. It's pretty simple, but... I like it. Ooh. Uh. Oh, you can swim up here. Okay, I was about to say, was that it? Huh. Nice. Good job, whoever made this. Is there a sign somewhere? Oh. <laughs> I thought someone opened the door behind me. Well, it's just myself. Is there a sign so telling you... Oh, yeah, there is. It's over here. So, this is made by a person called... Winklebin. That now seems familiar. Winklebin? I don't know. Am I the only one here? Oh. <laughs> I just pressed tab to see uh, the, diff the players on, but you can't see that because you're in... I turned off the hub. But anyway, Marx Brothers. I am a huge Marx Brothers fan. I've seen I think it's I think it was actually one movie I have yet to see. Can't remember what it's called. But I think all other than that I've seen all of the movies, most of them multiple times. But I'm only going to talk about 5 of them because that's what I always do. I talk about 5 movies. The first one I'm going to mention is their first movie, uh, well, at least their first uh, long film, and it's called The Coconuts, and uh, it's about them, well, Groucho is the owner of a hotel, Seppo is his assistant, and Chico and Harpo is, like always, troublemakers, pretty much. And it's... It's a really, really fun... I'm not going to talk about the plot that much, because the plots in Marx Brothers are really not the important part, but the first. this is the first movie, and it has some really, really, really nice dialogue, which I from some... Because if you're not familiar with the Marx Brothers, the dialogue is the most important part in those movies. They, when everybody else was pretty much doing the slapstick, kind of humor, where you fall, get hurt, stuff like that. They started doing more intelligent, uh, vocal humor. And no one has actually, in my opinion, managed to do it as well as them ever since. Play on... Oh, hello. I'm just gonna leave this guy's ground. But yeah, play on words, and uh, let's see if he actually wrote something for me. Oh. Okay, this guy is spying on me. Let's just leave. But yeah, um, the Coconuts is, like I said, their first movie. And it's really funny. One of the... This guy is following me. Why is this guy following me? Is he talking to me? What's his name? No, he's not talking to me. He's just following me for some reason. I'm gonna leave. But yeah, the, the, the Coconuts... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. The Coconuts is... An amazing, funny movie. With some really great... And some of the really funny... Jesus fucking Christ, man. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm gonna run. Get the fuck... Oh god, I'm back at the head guy again. Uh, I'm gonna lose him. Uh, now... God, what the hell? My f my mouse is really my sensitivity is really off. Oh, that's a lot better. Here we go. Did I lose him? Oh, he was right above me. Anyway, and let's not be bothered by this guy. Is he saying anything to me? No. Why the? Hell? Okay. Oh god, get your fucking face out of my... No, wait. That was my face. Um... Oh, wh where was I? Oh my god, I really should stop making these videos like this. 
Uh, ooh, let's check out this place. This looks, uh, this is a lab, I think. I think I lost him. He didn't want to come into the lab. He was afraid I was going to experiment on him. Not sexually, I don't do that. Well, no. Whoa! Okay, apparently I can't open that door. Uh, where was I? <laughs> Ooh, there's a sword. Let's go look at this dragon. Uh, which is smoking a pipe. Probably not. Uh, one of the funny scenes uh, from uh, the coconuts, getting back to what I was talking about. One of the really funny scenes from the coconuts is when... Uh, Harpo, the silent one, starts throwing uh, pens at... I can't remember what he throws it at. It's at the the hotel uh, desk, and he starts throwing these pens, and um, then he wants to throw the phone, and Groucho stops him and says, No, 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 that's only for long distance. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I really, really love that sense of humor. Another place in the movie that says... Uh, where they're talking about auctions, and Groucho says, You do know what an auction is, and Chico answers, Yes, I came here on the Atlantic auction. I, I don't do it as good as they do, but it's, it's just an example of the humor in the movie. Now, the next movie I'm going to talk about is... Um, I lost a guy. Oh, this looks cool. It, ooh, this looks awesome. Uh, the next movie I'm going to talk about is probably, in my opinion, the best movie. It's called Animal Crackers. And it's about, uh, once again, it's about at a, at a hotel. And it's actually their second movie. That guy has a house for a head. Uh, so they kind of, they made two movies about hotels in a row. But they were both good. So yeah, Animal Crackers is one of the best. And in my opinion, and probably also one of the most famous because of one single line. And that is, one morning I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How it got into my pajamas? I don't know. I love that line. Another line from the same speech, actually, in the movie is <laughs> also really funny. It's, uh, we took some pictures of the native girls, but they weren't developed. But we're going back in a couple of months. And I really, really, really love his play on words. That is one of the things Groucho really did. It's an amazing movie. Uh, look at those. Beacons, that's what they're called. Beacons. But, uh, yeah, th the Animal Craggers, it's amazing. Then we have, the next one is a, a Day at the Races, which is probably one of the most famous ones, where Groucho plays a doctor who likes betting on horses. And uh, they have to save a, a sanitarium, I think it is, some kind of from going bankrupt and they do that by sending in a horse in the race and this movie is this movie more shows off some of their slapstick they do a little more of the slapstick uh, physical comedy as well and this is one of the movies where this is you can see this and it, once again a really great movie uh, especially the whole conversation with the books scene if you've seen with the movie you know what I mean it's an amazing where uh, Chico keeps selling Groucho books and books. Get your Tootsie Fruitsy ice cream. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, that made no sense. But uh, if you haven't, and if you haven't seen the movie, you should probably go see it. One of my famous, li fa f not famous, favorite lines from the movie is actually, uh, what do you think I am, a peep show? That is a, an amazing uh, the next one is probably the the most famous and the one that most people consider the best. I was uh, I'll probably con consider it as the second best, and that is a night at the opera. This one is most of the movie actually takes place on a boat, even though it's called the night at the opera. But yeah, <laughs> but still, it's an amazing movie. Um, still, it's amazing. I don't know why I said still there. Yeah. But yeah, why am I going in circles? These, I'm being hypnotized, but this guy's built. There's a heart over here. But yeah, oh my god, look at that. 
But uh, Night at the Arbor has some amazing, it has the really famous scene where everybody is like trying to get into the same uh, room on board the ship. And also, in pretty much in the same scene, you have the famous, whoa, uh, hard boiled egg scene where they order food and they keep wanting hard boiled eggs. Another famous for, uh, scene from that movie is the contract scene, whereas they, they the, the, the amazing line with the, uh, what's that down here? Well, that's uh, what they call the sanity, sanity clause. Ha! You can't fool me, there is no sanity clause. It's, <laughs> I don't do it as good as them, I admit, but it's an amazing, amazing movie. A Night at the Opera. The last movie I'm gonna mention, I couldn't mention them all because they're all good. But, and this, the last one is actually not one of the, it's one of the less funny ones, but I'm gonna mention it anyway because, well, I'll tell you because why in just a moment. The movie I'm gonna mention is, oh, someone wanted to make the wither. I don't think you can make the wither here. That would be kind of stupid if... Holy ma... This is awesome. But yeah, the, 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 um, the movie I'm gonna talk about is A Day at the Circus. Like I said, it's one of the less funny. It's still hilarious. But uh, compared to the others, it is less funny. But the mention... The reason I mentioned this one is because of the song. Lydia the Tattoo Lady. If you haven't heard it, search for it on uh, YouTube. Uh, or, or just watch the movie because yeah, Marx Brothers are amazing, and I, it, Lydia the Tattoo Lady is a song that really it's I could listen to it again and again, and I do as someone who made a roller coaster. But yeah, Marx Brothers. Is that guy still following me? Nope. But yeah, Marx Brothers movies. There's a lot of them, and uh, funny thing. Marilyn Monroe, one of her f ever first ever roles before she became famous, was actually in a Marx Brothers movie. Yeah, not many people knew that. Well, maybe they did. But, now you know as well, unless you knew before. Well, then you, I guess you still know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Marx Brothers movies, go watch them, they are amazing. Just to mention some of the other Marx Brothers movies that exist. Horse Feathers. Monkey Business, uh, Duck Soup, Go West, and uh, others. But yeah, let's sum it up. I reviewed uh, Little Inferno, a funny little game, a little strange, but awesome. And Marx Brothers, well, you can't go wrong with Marx Brothers. It's some of the funniest shit ever made. Look at that guy. Uh, and it, it it's still funny today. I mean, a lot of the comedies made now, they will be forgotten in a few years. While Marx Brothers, who made their movies in the 30s, well, they still among some of the funniest movies ever made. Hello, lady. Anyway, she's probably not that old, so I should probably not say that stuff like that to her. What does that say? Clone. What? Huh? Is that a clone? Of what? That's what I want to know. What's it a clone of? It's a clone. But yeah, some really nice uh, things on this server. Some really weird stuff as well. Like for instance, this building. It must have taken a long time to make, especially because he use he or she uses like every ooh Pokemon. Oh, this is nice. We got some different uh, things. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video. Ooh, end the video here. This has uh, been Desired Craft, the server. It's a public server. You can check it out. But I'm gonna end it here, and uh, I'll see you Monday for more vlog, and I'll see you tomorrow for more gaming. Bye.